Now, while we're playing around with our table, let's look at changing the height and width of my table. And again, this can also be applied to the individual rows. Okay, so I'm just going to apply it to the table and I'm going to put in, I've got width and I'm just going to say width equals, let's go with 50% of the width of the page. Now, if you know the exact figures and they ask you to do that, then you will just type that in over there. And I'm going to go file, save, refresh. No, it's not changing enough. <laughs> Let's go 80% save. And there you can see how the width changes. So let's change the height as well. And let's just go with 50% first. Again, the same is going to apply. File, save, refresh. And there you can see I can adjust the height and width of my table itself. These attributes of width and height can also be used in the individual rows, as I mentioned, to adjust the size there as well.